Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. For those of you who decided to purchase the new Argo SRV during IAE, I'm going to do a quick review of the ship and then show you how to run the only mission out there for it. It does pay out 250,000 credits, which is awesome. However, you also get hit with a crime stat for illegal towing, which will add a 32,000 credit fine per mission. So, if uh, something happens during the tow, you could end up taking a loss. But not to worry, dear viewer, for I have learned the secret to avoiding the guaranteed crime stat. And it's just too damn easy. Thanks to this tip, I was making uh, one and a half million credits an hour running the tow mission. Granted, it, it, it gets kind of boring after the fifth or sixth tow, but if you really want to buy that cool fighter for ERT bounty missions so you can earn millions running drugs, which I'll be going over in, a, in another video real soon, uh, then you'll need to grind. And if you're interested in playing Star Citizen, make sure to use the referral code listed here and also in the description. You'll earn additional credits of in-game money when you do. If you're a subscriber, leave a comment with your referral code. We'll randomly choose someone's referral code and promote it in our next video. I also belong to an awesome org and Discord server called Star Citizen Friends and Mentoring. If you're looking for people to talk about Star Citizen with, spend time playing the game and learning the ins and outs of uh, Star Citizen, then check us out. The link to the Discord server is also in the description. All right, let's get started. First, let's take a quick look at the Argo SRV, as this is a new ship, and not everyone has had a chance to play around with it uh, yet, unless you did the free free rental thing up at the New Babbage during IE. Unfortunately, the Argo display was a couple days ago, so I don't think you can rent the SRV anymore. Uh, it can be purchased on the Pledge Store for $150 in cash or $165 with store credit. The SRV is a single-seat space tow truck, and is definitely an Argo ship in every sense, from its orange paint scheme to its heavy industrial appearance. The midsection has an elevator that can accommodate 12 SCU worth of cargo, although I haven't really found a use for it yet. The only entrance into the ship is through this elevator towards the front. Everything inside the ship is pretty well marked. Um, on the floor is signage letting you know which way the habitation section is, um, is located as well as the cockpit. On either side of the elevator, you have access to uh, the various components. In the habitation section, you'll find a functioning food dispenser a single bed, an eating section with a view of the tractor beam, a very basic bathroom, a suit locker, and a weapons rack. Moving forward, we find the cockpit. The display is all used typical Argo orange glow, which I'm not a fan of, as it's difficult to figure out if something is really red, like there's a problem, or it's the usual orange color. But on the other hand, I like it, because it reminds me of the old plasma computer terminals I grew up in the late 70s. Also of note is the fact that this ship has absolutely no weapons. None. Zilch. So, um, yeah, avoid firefights for sure. Now let's move on to the uh, mission that the SRV was built for. It's currently only available in the asteroid belt around Yellow. I fully expect that everyone who owns one of these will be living either a Grimhex or a Seraphim. I usually start from OM2 as it's a good vantage point uh, down, looking down at the belt.
Once in position, I bring up the contract manager, go into the personal tab, and click on salvage. We're looking for the Aegis Hammerhead cleanup mission that is worth a whopping 250,000 credits. It also says plus bonuses, which I assume has to do with scraping the hole. Um, I'm fine with the 250,000 credits though. So now it's just a matter of quantuming over to the uh, hammerhead. Typically, as soon as you start to tow the hammerhead, you'll be given a crime stat and be required to pay a 32,000 credit fine. Now, one way to get around that is to uh, shut down the Comray, which I have tried. Um, however, I think there is a bug in the current patch which makes it impossible to insert the Tiger Claw. At least that's been my experience, and I've made several attempts. So it's it's uh, so either it's bugged or they've changed the mechanic around inserting the Tiger Claw. There's an alternate way though around the crime stat. Before you start the tow go sit in the pilot's chair of the hammerhead. It's as simple as that. Just go through these doors. And these doors. And these doors. Up this elevator. And sit in the pilot seat for a second. Now head on back to the SRV and tow as usual. You'll receive a notice that you are performing an illegal tow, but you won't actually receive the crime stat or the fine. Now that we're back in the SRV, I pull out to uh, 200 meters and flip the SRV 180 degrees. Hold down the F key and hover over the control panel until I see Enter Remote Turret. Then I just aim the tractor beam at the hammerhead, click on the left mouse button, press the F key, and we're back facing forward. Use your mouse wheel to increase the speed and, and move as normal. I usually don't go much over 102 meters per second. And after a minute or so, uh, you should get the contract complete message, at which point I pick up speed, left mouse click to disengage the tractor beam, and make a hard turn to avoid being run over by the hammerhead. And there you go. You are 250,000 credits richer in a matter of minutes, and you don't have to deal with that ridiculous 32,000 credit fine. Now I just return to OM2 and repeat. If I don't uh, see the mission reappearing right away, I bed log out and switch servers. Also, there's a chance you'll run into security or an NPC pirate. I found the best thing to do if you find yourself in either of these situations is just abandon the mission, um, server hop and try again. That's it for my review of the Argo SRV, its mission, and how to get around the round pain that pesky 32,000 credit fine for the crime stat. And a special shout out to Arch Server uh, from Star Citizen Friends and Mentoring for cluing me in uh, on how to get around the crime stat. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Scrap Jet out.